to the whip. I'm a really big deal. I did it my way. I got to these meals. Can't imagine how I feel. I told him I'm probably gonna get to a hundred. Never had it, so I wanted. I'm kicking my shit, so I feel like a punter. This is that boss talk, you a runner. Some people don't let me, I know it's okay. I get money anyway. I'm smoking this eye, gun to the face. Pretty women coming back to my place. Couple hundred thousand right in the safe. Cause I'm used to seeing it rainy in days. Never ever going back to the ways. Just stick to the plan, I got money to make. Hundred million dollars, she want to cheat Louis Potter. She said, Can I take a shot? And I said, Where you wanna go? Money steady piling, don't got time to spend on drama. I stay fresh, hop in my ride. I take you where you wanna go. Hundred million dollars, hundred million dollars. Hundred million dollars, hundred million dollars. Money steady piling. consultations whatever it is um i didn't realize how hard it would be to go live every day because a lot of the content that i am sharing with you guys is content that's that could be wrapped up in five to ten minutes but the reason why these live streams are so important is because this gives you guys the opportunity to ask me your questions directly um, rather than you having to like leave the comment on the video in hopes that I see it uh, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all I get a whole lot of comments let me show y'all something so right now I have 31 comments waiting you probably can't see it I have 31 comments waiting uh, to be responded to. Um, it gets a bit overwhelming when the comments come in like such because it's hard for me to go through and answer each person's individual question because a lot of the stuff that you guys be asking me, it comes with it has it comes with doing research. So if I have to do research. And then I'm probably not going to answer the question because usually I'm like riding in my car. Mm, excuse me. Usually I'm like riding in my car. Where's my water? I'm like riding in my car when I'm getting on YouTube or like I'm sitting watching a movie or just doing something and then I pop on my phone and I go to my YouTube app and I just, you know what I'm saying? I want to answer the questions. Uh, had to get my water but um yeah so what I what I wanted to start doing with these live streams is just making myself available you know even if you guys don't watch me live I just want to make sure that I make myself available you know and I'm living in my purpose and my purpose is to spread knowledge to people and you know one thing about spreading knowledge is sometimes people might not be ready for that knowledge. Some people, sometimes people might not be willing to, uh, you know, just just take on the, the 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 take the information and utilize it. 
So, I have allowed myself to kind of deviate or revert from spreading the knowledge in a in a massive way because it gets kind of like you know discouraging when you're trying to help people and you're trying to spread knowledge and it's not being um reciprocated from the audience but my youtube community you guys are the best you guys are always always watching and you know you keep my you keep my I, i'm get, i'm consistently getting my ten thousand my 10,000 views a month. So right now we doing 10,000 views a month. Like that might not be a big deal to some of you guys. But you know to me that's a big deal. So 10,000 views a month. Right now I'm at 11. But that's because I just dropped a video. Um, that did pretty well. But um, all of my. Most of my views. If not all of them comes from my back catalog. Of uh, tutorial videos. That I have decided to share with you guys. And. These videos, you know, they are helping to drive the Instagram page. I mean, to drive the YouTube page. So, again, these consultations are for you guys to drop your comments, you know, in the comment section. And just let me know how you guys are feeling. Um, just about your music situation, uh, what you need help with, and different things of that nature. Because, like I said, I just want to make myself available um, to you guys live so that we can have that more one-on-one -on -one interaction. So, um, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm focusing on right now. So, make sure you guys drop your comments below. Um, again, I, like I said, uh, when, you guys, when you guys leave comments on the channel... I am, it's very difficult for me to, uh, not to, um, not to try to like, you know, I just completely lost my train of thought, but what I'm trying to say is basically like these live streams is just a much more easier way for me to engage with you guys, to get your questions, um, and just do things like that. So let me get my Instagram popping off. We're going live on Instagram. I cannot spell consultation. Consultation. Alright, so let's put the freaking, let's put the live Instagram right here. I ain't even gonna cap, Instagram be having me looking crazy, bro. I need a motherfucking filter on that ass. They just got a nigga. There we go, there we go. Alright, so I just went live on Instagram. Hold on, let me put this one right here. Because I don't want IG to see me with the weeds. You know I got the gas. Keep the gas. But, um, like I was explaining to my YouTube community, because these videos are mainly for my YouTube community, because you guys are going hard. Y'all always go hard for a nigga. But, um... For my IG people, basically, you know, what's, what's going on is, y'all see what I'm doing? Shit, now I gotta roll up down here. But, um, basically, this is, uh, for my IG people. Ooh. This, this little introduction for my IG people. So, what I'm saying is uh i want to go live and start doing consultations with people on live because 
when you guys send your questions or your comments to my DMs and shit like that, I don't always be the one answering the DM. So it's <laughs> difficult for me to remember that you sent me a question, um, you know, months or weeks later or days later, to be honest with you. So I'm going live every single day at 2 p.m. Every day at 2 p.m. If I cannot make it at 2 p.m., I might go live earlier than 2 p.m., but I'm going live every day at 2 p.m., every day at 2 p.m., and basically these lives is for you guys to tap in with me. I'm going to be on live, and um, you know what I'm saying, like, if it gets to the point where you guys are, like, not tuning in to me on live, then you'll probably see me, like, play video games or, you know what I'm saying, obviously I'm about to smoke, so that's something that's important to me. It's just, you know what I'm saying, just being able to do the things that I like to do, but also be able to live in my purpose and provide you guys with the knowledge, the tools, and the resources. And, I mean, you guys are always watching these videos back. Like, I, I, I see you guys watching these videos back. The retention time is up there. Like, you guys are watching these videos from start to finish. So, I want to say shout out to my YouTube community. Um, for doing that because you guys are always doing that and again um, For Instagram like I said you guys got questions comments concerns about different aspects of your music career Let a nigga know What's up with you? You know what I'm saying? How can I help you any questions that you need answered? What you trying to get popping and um Yeah, because a lot of you guys a lot of you guys come to me with questions and you know wanting me to help you i don't necessarily i don't do work for artists i don't work for artists unless they pay me but i have no issues answering simple questions simple questions i don't give people advice the reason why i don't give people advice about their music career is because what you do in your music career is solely up to you it has no bearings on I like I don't I I don't want to be the person to tell you to go do something that is optional. That's basically what it comes down to. Um, everything that um everything that I'm telling y'all to do is things that you know it's like standard operating procedures. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to uh oh shit. Standard operating procedures. But I'm gonna show my uh I'm gonna show my YouTube community. What I'm about to, uh, what I'm about to get on right now. I can't show IG because they're going to ban me. But I'm about to be on some of this right here. This is called Peanut Butter and Jelly Time. Yeah, so. I got to find my own. But yeah, y'all. I told y'all I'm back on these things right here. I'm back on these things right here. So, let me know if these things are good or bad. Because <laughs> the backwards, man, I'm not going to lie. Backwards been hurting my stomach. Backwards been hurting my stomach, so I just kind of got to lay, lay off the backies for a little while until I can, um, until my stomach start feeling better, to be honest with you. Because, like I said, the backwards, man, like, smoking backwards on a consistent basis is, like, not a good thing. Um, if you smoking backwards, you probably be smoking maybe, like, once or twice a day. But for me, man, I'm smoking, like, blunt after blunt after blunt after blunt, and it's getting, like, excited excessive you know what i'm saying this is getting super excessive when it comes to like how much i smoke but um i, I have to start smoking a little bit more healthier because these backwards is not the move but um y'all did not come here to hear me talk about backwards y'all did not come here to hear me talk about the type of weed y'all i y'all you guys came here for a live music free consultations and things of that nature so um it was it's difficult it was difficult for me to figure out a video to actually um record or what to actually talk about on live today because um a lot of things that i that i talked about or i talk about i summed it up in the first few videos and so it get like i said it gets difficult to continue to find quality information and things to share with you guys so if you're watching this video right now drop a comment below and let me know what it is that you want to learn about your music career what it is that you need help with when it comes to the business side of music 
Um, one thing that I pride myself on is just is thoroughly knowing different business tactics and different ways that you can make money in music and just how to really release your music, protect your ownership, protect your masters, your publishing, and just different things like that. So what I'm trying to do with the artist is I'm trying to make sure that the artist get these questions answered, especially independent artists. You know, my goal for independent artists and for unsigned artists is to really help somebody like really utilize the attention that they got, really take the attention and the notoriety that they get. Because one thing that I don't do that a lot of other like consultants do, they like to promise you that they're going to help you get a deal or they're going to help you blow up or they're going to take your career to the next level and all of these different these different um unrealistic things that they cannot promise so for me personally i don't promise artists that i can take their career to the next level i don't promise artists that i can do none of those things because that's that's all up to chance but what i do tell the artists what i do tell the artists is that if you are popular, if you're getting a substantial amount of views, if you're getting motion, if you got motion, right, but you ain't got no money, I can teach you how to get the money, but you got to have the motion. That's all it takes. So, you know what I'm saying? My, what, I, what, I, what I put out, the content that I put out, everything that can help you get the money, I put it out for free because I also want artists to understand that this is not a money grab for me you know what i'm saying this is not a money grab this shit don't pay my bills yet this shit don't this shit ain't this shit don't provide for me you know what i'm saying the knowledge that i'm providing to you guys and the things that i'm doing for you guys this shit don't provide for me this shit don't don't put no food on my table i do the shit because i love it and i also i want to be instrumental in the success of somebody like there, there, there would be no better feeling than for me to share this information with an artist, right? With an independent artist. And they take that information and they use it and they get super fucking rich. Super rich. Because what happens then is now you can afford to buy my goddamn merch. For all you guys that's in my DMs trying to get discounts and trying to get free merch. I'm going to help you get rich off music and you're going to buy my shit <laughs> but um yeah no so today what we're talking about is just uh our youtube artist channels because over the last like 28 to 30 days that's been my highest viewed video on youtube people are continuously searching on google how to get their youtube artist channels and I think I've made like three or four videos, um, posted them on YouTube, and basically was just like, hey, this is how you get your artist channel. There is a monopoly on artist channels. And the reason why is because all of the distribution services have figured out that tapping into the YouTube is something that most artists really, really want to do. Like right now, Every single time you distribute your music with DistroKid or United Masters or TuneCore or any of these other places, they automatically send your song directly to YouTube. I'm going to pull it up right here for y'all to see it. And um, so you can understand exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to use myself as an example because I got my artist channel. And I got my artist channel, thank God I got my artist channel before DistroKid switched over. Because DistroKid used to provide that service to you for free. But they don't provide it to you for free anymore. And the reason why they don't provide it to you anymore because they realize that if they charge you, that if they charged you for it, you are going to pay. Because everybody want to tap into their YouTube content ID. Everybody want to have a YouTube artist channel, have access to the YouTube artist channel. And all those different things like that. So, what they've done is they've created a monopoly. Not just DistroKid, but all of the streaming services. Because what they're doing is, I mean distribution services. What they're doing is they're offering you video distribution now. What does that mean? If you distribute your video through a distribution service rather than uploading it to YouTube and different platforms of that nature, then that means they have an opportunity to tap into your YouTube revenue. 
this is something I've been trying to tell people for the last few months that they are starting to monopolize YouTube so um, before I show you uh, my YouTube artist channel hold on no let me show you my artist channel first so this is my this is my regular YouTube page right um, where I upload all of my personal content but if you scroll down you'll see albums and singles this is everything that is uploaded to my artist channel via my distributor because my YouTube page is connected to my artist page and that's super important because once an artist uploads a song to YouTube they create a default topic page I know you guys have seen these topic pages before so I know you know what I'm talking about I get a lot of questions from people how do I get my music how do I uh, get my music off a topic page or like one of the biggest things that I see is um when you distribute your music on YouTube it's going to another artist's page and the reason for that is people got similar names like if your name is uh you know little little k right that's not a very unique name it's not very unique at all so if you distribute your song and your name is little k there's probably another little k out there now let's assume that this other little k has already taken care of has already taken care of business related to their music right they already own the youtube channel little k when you go to distribute your music on YouTube, that music is going to go to the official Little K YouTube channel. Because one, and, and this is another thing, uh, why I don't use TuneCore. And you guys could go watch my, my video that I posted about why I don't use TuneCore. TuneCore was one of the first independent aggregators for unsigned artists. What I mean by that is they were one of the first places that gave unsigned artists the opportunity to get their music on Spotify, Apple Music, and all these, all these other places. So, when TuneCore started, they used AI technology. They didn't use real humans and different things like that. Over the years, when you start to introduce more streaming services, when you start to introduce more ways that we make money, when you start to introduce all of these different aspects of the music business you realize that your music is being serviced so many different places so it's, it's difficult for TuneCore to keep up with every intricate detail of how you're servicing your music so again mistakes happen in my video on why I don't use TuneCore um, in that video I explain to you guys why um, it's important to go with a distributor that has good customer service and the reason why it's important is because there's so many different obstacles that we face when we uh yo what's up what's up Mo moses flair what's up with you what's up what's up everybody but um it's so difficult uh when you're when, let's say you come you go through some issues releasing your music you want to be you want to be with a distributor that makes it super easy everybody that's watching me on Instagram if y'all got questions or comments or just anything that you want to know about your music situation drop your questions below because I'm answering them on live you can also join me on YouTube where you can see my screen and I'm going over some things on my screen as well so just go to my story and click on the link if you're trying to do that um, but uh what I was saying was if you if you go into some if you distribute a song you may run into some issues the distributor that you're using you want to make sure that distributor is has really good customer service because you 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 don't have all of the knowledge about all of the things that go on behind the scenes so when you send an email off to your distributor and you say hey my YouTube channel my songs are being uploaded to the wrong YouTube channel you want you you want to be answered in the next 24 to 48 hours. You don't want to freaking you don't want to freaking be on um you don't want to freaking be uh waiting 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 while you have a song that you're trying to release and you're trying to get information about it. So um, good customer service is important. Um, you also want to be with a distributor that can provide you with all of the things that you want that you're trying to get. So let's talk about um. YouTube again because this is the biggest topic for everybody 
um, DistroKid has now up implemented a video upload. Okay, so this means that they are uploading your videos to distribution. So this, you see what I'm talking about? They are charging you ninety nine dollars a year to get your to get your videos on Apple Music, Vivo, Amazon Music, and Tidal. Okay, so they have figured out a way to monopolize video distribution. Okay. There used to be, a, there, but there has to be a way for you to get your videos on your distributing site. I mean, to get your videos on Vivo and Apple Music and all of these different things, right? Got to be a way. Well, streaming services have partnered up with distribution services, and they have figured out a way to charge you for this service, all right? It's a whole new service. So let me show you guys another distribution company that I uh, worked with very very short lived um, I'm not going to shit on them I'm not going to shit on them right now but what I will tell you is that when you are choosing a distribution service right you also want to make sure that that distribution service I have no idea what my password is oh shit that's it you also want to make sure that that distribution service has a good licensing agreement so this service right here, um, I used it, and then I immediately, immediately took my music down off of here. And once I took my music down off of here, I realized that they are not just a distribution service. They are a distribution slash publishing entity. They, it's not separate for them. So when you go to distribute your music, they are not only registering the actual sound recording, but they are also registering the composition. And that right there for me is a bit tricky because I own my publishing. I own 100% of the publishing. I know how to get my YouTube revenue. I know how to get my sound exchange revenue. I know how to get revenue from Instagram and Facebook and all of these different platforms. So I don't necessarily need my distribution service to collect my, you know, my royalties and my publishing royalties. All I need is a distribution service that offers what the other distribution services don't offer. So this service right here is supposed to be like Rock Nation affiliate service and things like of that nature. So one, that's the first thing that drew me in was, oh shit, this is Rock Nation. The second thing that drew me in was they contacted me directly. You know what I'm saying? I didn't go seeking them out. I didn't Google them. They contacted me directly. I looked over the contract. Everything looked good. Everything looked good. But what I didn't know is that when you decide, and see, this is the reason why um, it fucked up, right? So I uploaded the song. I uploaded a version of the song, and I was not happy with the version. It was, a, it was supposed to be the clean version of my song, and I just wasn't happy with how it came out. You know, once I went and I listened to it, a few times now it's time for me I'm like shit I don't want this song to be out anymore so I go online I mean I go on my distribution service this service right here and I delete it okay I delete it the reason why I deleted it is because I had intentions on uploading a new version of that particular song so I just straight deleted it boom I delete the song and unbeknownst to myself when you delete your music off of this distribution service they do not stop collecting your royalties for you. You are locked into a three-year contract. Three years. Now, for some people, that's okay. But what happens when you accidentally upload the wrong song? You know? Let's say you uploaded the song and then Friday or Monday or Tuesday when you go to listen to it and all of a sudden... I used to use Vita for my music video distribution, but I'm thinking about going with Distro. Um, I never released any. Um, I never released any videos with Vita, but um, can I ask you a question? And you can drop this in the comments. Just by looking at this screen, how did you know this was Vita? That's what I love to know because I did a video about them a few weeks ago. And I had a bunch of people 
calling them out by name, Vida, Vida, Vida. So I'm just like, okay, well, how do you know about Vida? That's what I would love to know. Um, because this is equity distribution. Uh, Vida is their publishing entity, which I didn't know that they were registering my publishing until I went to YouTube and saw them on my video. So again, the song that I accidentally distributed was the clean version of my single, right? Once I released the clean version of my single, look who is popping up on all of my YouTube videos. Vita, on behalf of independent Vita Music Publishing. So for me, I was kind of confused, like, wait, I deleted that song already. Why are they still collecting the royalties for it? Because the song already went through Content ID. They are immediately, upon releasing your music, sending it through Content ID. They are tapped into your Content ID. They are getting 15% of every single dollar your song is making. Every single dollar. And it's, 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 it's kind of like messed up because... Like I said, for me, it wasn't even about me not wanting to be on the platform. It was just like, shit, I, did, I uploaded the wrong song. Like, dead ass, just uploaded the wrong song. And was went to go delete the song so I can upload the correct version. And I just can't get that, I can't get that version off. It's still on streaming services. They're still tapped into all my videos every single time I upload a video using that song I get a copyright strike so um yeah man and I, I contacted them directly I let them know what the what was going on and then also another thing I was using Vita to upload to Vivo and you could submit for your video to be on BT Jams Revolt but they stopped submitting to TV networks and they only do Vivo Apple Music and Tidal Vita see that's crazy bro that's crazy V Y, I never heard of that. I never heard of that. Vita. Mmm. So I'm guessing Equity partnered with Vita, which is a distribution is a distribution platform. Let's see what the fuck these are. And I guarantee you, Vita been around for years because I know so many artists that has gotten their music on. Uh, distribution platforms. I mean, like BET and all that type of shit. Mm. Let's see. They got a Who Are We section. They got a Frequently Asked Questions section. See, I'm already, I'm already like, what the fuck? Where's the Frequently Asked Questions? See, they already got me. They already, like, I'm already, like, not on them. I'm already not on them. I'm already not on them. Because one thing that I always go to when I come to, like, these these sites that, you know, independent artists are going to is I need to know what the frequently asked questions are. What are the things that most people are asking? And if you can't tell me that, that's because you don't want to know. Mm -hmm. So you say they stopped, they stopped doing the video distribution. The reason why they stopped doing the video distribution is because they figured out that independent artists' music is very lucrative. And so, when you distribute your music to BT and all of these TV shows, it's a different payout. It's a different payout. It is a different payout. I gotta block y'all on Instagram because I'm trying to roll up. And I ain't trying to get no goddamn strikes from Instagram. It's trying to stop me. You feel me? You know what I'm talking about? Ain't that how they talk in Atlanta? You know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to stop me from being great. I'm trying to roll this goddamn blunt up for the last 30 minutes. Oh, shit. So we're going to go ahead and block y'all on IG from seeing. Right, here we go. But, um, let's see, let's see. What else? Resources. Can you even sign up? Can you even sign up? Like, is it a way for you to just sign up directly? Let's check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'm not about to sign in with YouTube so they can have access to my YouTube. That's dead. That's dead. 
it says welcome back sign into your account let's do sign in with Facebook I think I'm signing to my girl Facebook page <laughs> let's see let's see I will want to make you want to bite I just want to have a good time all right joining Biden's roster is by invitation only Wow Wow that is crazy. Ah, it's okay, okay, okay. Invitation only. Bruh, who that is? It? Wow. Invitation only. All right. So, as you guys can see, this is an inv invite only, right? But when you go through equity, you feel me? When you go through these guys, they are charging, I mean, they go and distribute your shit. So it's like, it's some good and some bad about it. Like, it's good and it's bad about it, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, I never distribute my music. I have yet to distribute my videos through a distribution service. And the reason why I haven't is because I, I haven't gotten enough information. Because what you guys got to remember, right, is that videos have IRSRC codes attached to them as well so again i showed you distro kid distro kid going to charge you nine ninety nine dollars a year every single year that's a lot of money that is absolutely ridiculous absolutely ridiculous to be charging independent artists ninety nine dollars a year you feel what i'm saying our competitors charge at least that just to upload one video so it's kind of like they already know that they that it's a lot of money. A yearly thing. Anytime you're distributing your music, right? And this is why a lot of people trying to get away from like DistroKid and different things like that. Because they feel like, why are we being charged a yearly fee just to put, put a high value music out? But what you got to understand is that these companies provide a service. Anytime somebody is providing you with a service, they have to get paid. So, with this particular service, they are providing to you, they are hosting your music. Like, even with a website, right? My website, in order for me to have a good website, I need to spend at least $36 to $40 a month to host my website. Then on top of that, if I really, really want a freaking good website, it's probably going to be more. So, like, let's say I wanted a member area, and I wanted, my, I wanted people to be able to log in onto my website and come back to their content and different things like that you gotta up the price of the website so i'm not complaining about the price of the things i'm complaining i'm not complaining that they're charging you i'm complaining that the price is a bit egregious because realistically speaking most artists most independent artists aren't making a hundred bucks like they're not it's just it's just not happening i mean Maybe collectively across all sh platforms like Sound Exchange and Distro and different things like that. But realistically speaking, most artists that are releasing music ain't making no money off their music. And it's not because they don't know how to. It's not because the music isn't good. It's just because they don't know how to register. They don't know how to register. They don't know the proper way to register and release the music. Which is why I'm here 38 minutes later still giving you guys... The information, I'm here 38 minutes later, still, you know, waiting for you guys to drop your comments around, you know, drop your comments in the comment section. If you, if you do music and you got some questions about how to get paid in music, how to register your music, how to, re how to book shows, how to do whatever it is you're trying to do, I'm here available. I'm also here to update you with the information that you need. So that you can get your music registered and released and you can start making money off your music. Because again, most artists don't make no money off their music. And it's not because they don't got no streams. It's not because nothing like that. It's just because y'all niggas don't understand how to register the music. That's what it is. Gots to learn how to register. Gots to do it. It's not optional. How many minutes we on? We on, 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 All right, we've been on for like 38 minutes, 39 minutes right now. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this stream. I'll be back live again later around like maybe 6 o'clock. So I hope 
that when you guys go back to rewatch this, that you actually drop your questions and your comments and uh, appreciate it. And you drop your questions in your comments below. We are going to be live every day consistently at 2 p.m. Every day live, 2 p.m. Every day live, 2 p.m. So you guys can get out my DMs. You can stop getting mad every single time you want me to do something and just jump on my live at 2 p.m. Because I want to help you guys. I want to put you guys in position. But I also want to know what it is that you need help with. I can only, I can't guess what you need help with. So I can just provide you with the information that I have readily available to you and then we can move from there. So again, if you rewatch this video, if you watched me live and you, ha and you just didn't think of a question or something you need help with and then I end this live, go back and drop the comments in the comment section and let me know what it is that you want to know, what you want to learn and then the next day, I will be live and I'll talk about it. Here is our, this is our live schedule right here. Our live schedule is 2 p.m. every day. Our video upload schedule is at 6 o'clock every day. So 2 p.m. we're live at 6 o'clock. We are dropping videos. I need help with ads like Facebook and IG ads. So what I'll do is I will give you the link. Actually, let me go find it and I'm going to post it in the chat. I got a link, right? I did a video on how to run ads on Facebook and Instagram and different things like that. So, give me one second. I'm gonna drop the I'm gonna drop the link for you. All right, give me one second. Let me find a link. Oh shit! Now my internet acting crazy. Hold up, hold up, shorty. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Alright. And I'm actually going to drop you the link to my music business tutorial playlist. I don't know if you're familiar with the music business tutorial playlist, but there's literally over a hundred and something videos on that playlist on every topic that you could possibly think of. Every single one. Alright. Let's click some of this shit down. Because my internet is crazy right now. I don't know what's going on. I got a lot of, um... I got a lot of shit open. And I got a lot of shit. Oh no. Why do I hear my voice? <laughs> Alright, here is the tutorials playlist right here. Hold on, let me find the video. Let me find the video. I'm about to end my Instagram live so I can roll up my so I can spark my blunt. While I find this video for you. Alright, YouTube. Let's go to YouTube. Let's go to I go by Neek. Alright. Let's go to my page. Playlist. Yeah, I'm definitely on two different computers when I'm doing all this. It's just easier to do it. Navigate. Alright. And this computer moves hella fast. Alright, we're going to copy this. And... I'm about to email it. Copy. Alright. Paste this in the chat. Alright. Mm. So, if you're still watching, I don't know if you can click on that link. But that's the link to the tutorials playlist. Um, the music business tutorials playlist. Alright, and um... I'm gonna show you one video because I, I have um I've done ads I've ran ads on my content and I've been super successful running ads I don't I haven't been running ads for the past couple of weeks just on the just because my um my Instagram page is 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 banned right now well it was banned I'm kind of like in Facebook jail so it's just been a lot of a lot of shit for what slowed me down towards this end of this year. But um I have ran ads on my videos. But I'm, I'm gonna give you some I'm gonna give you some advice about running ads on Instagram on YouTube videos, right? When you run your ad on YouTube, make sure that you are going 
back to check the ad spend. And what I mean by that is, ad spend is the amount of money that you're spending on the ad in its entirety. Because I remember one time I didn't go and check and that shit ran up to like $350. And I didn't even get that many views. I probably got maybe like 8,000 views. That's a lot of freaking money for $350 for just 8,000 views. That's dead. So when you do run your ads on YouTube, just remember like go check. Make sure that you are, you know, keeping up with your ad spend. Making sure that you know exactly... Who this? Who this? Let me show y'all something real quick too. Let me show y'all niggas something. Alright. Anytime you get a motherfucker like this in your DM, this is a scam. Let me show you. And you and once I tell you this shit, you're gonna be like, oh damn, you know what? You is right as fuck. Okay. So there's always gonna be a person from the radio station. Okay? radio station and it's so freaking funny to me how they it's like they all got the same page i honestly think that it's instagram um trying to sabotage us and, and scam us out of money because it's just it's all too it's all too it's all too good and familiar so what they do is it's a it's a dj right it's going to be a dj and what the dj does Right? Is the DJ goes in this he he or she likes a bunch of your pictures. After they like a bunch of your pictures, they follow you. Alright? Once they follow you, you like, oh shit, this is a real person. And then you go and you follow them back. Right? You follow them back. I haven't followed this person back. But you go follow them back. Immediately after following them back, look, I'm gonna follow this person back right now to see how long it takes. Immediately after following them back, right? They jump in your DMs. They say, Yo, what's up? You too, you're so talented. You got so much potential. Whatever the fuck, right? So, here's this guy right here. Bung, there's his message. You're so talented. Ah, da, 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 right? Appreciate it. That's what I'm going to say back. Appreciate it, fam. Right? Now, what happens after that is, now they figure, oh, you're a real person too. Let me try to sell some shit. Oh, you're trying to take your, you're trying to take your career off the ground? I work at the radio station. It's always a radio station. I work at the radio station. I could put your song in rotation. Da -da 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 -da. All right, let me tell you about the biggest scam of that. Stop letting radio DJs tell you that they're going to play your song on the radio. Because they're not. They're not playing your, they playing your song on the radio. But it's for promotional purposes only. This means that they are putting your song in the mix show. What is a mix show? A mix show is something that is personal to each DJ on their particular time slot. So, what happens is... Once you get the attention of the DJ, right, and the DJ put your song in the song mix, now it's up to you to get your song picked up by the station. Well, how do you get your song picked up by the station? You get all of your fans to call in and request your song. Once they call in and request it, I'm talking they could be calling in from all over the country calling in and request your song. It does not matter. It does not matter. Now, the station, like, damn, this person got a whole lot of fans. We got to play the song. Now they put the song in rotation, okay? When they put the song in rotation, now you've done something. Now you've accomplished something. Now you are really, really getting it popping because your song is in rotation. That means it's going to play. It's That means it's programmed. Because what a lot of people don't understand about the radio is that over 50% of the time that we are listening to the radio everything there's nobody in the studio it's just it's just pre, it's, it's programming meaning it's already preset so that's why when you get your song in the mix show that's when the dj is actually live on the radio mm -hmm. so yeah man that's just a little little bit of information that i wanted to share with you guys about the radio but um i'm gonna see how long it takes for this guy to message me back Look, 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 didn't take them long at all. Didn't take them long at all. Look, so their next question is always, well, how long you been doing music? 
long enough. Look, I'm gonna say thanks for asking. They trying to riz me up. <laughs> they trying to riz me up so they can get some money out of me. I'm, I just, I just, I just responded back just to show you guys on cam exactly what it is that I'm talking about. It's all a scam. <laughs> Yo, still watch it. It's all a scam, man. It's all a scam. And there's so many of them like that on Instagram. And what I do is, I just throw them into... I, honestly, I just never follow back. Anytime you go to a person's page, right? This is what you gotta look for. Anytime you go to their page, and they got the, and they got the DJ name in the bio with the, with the place where they DJ at, it's cat. Is cat because guess what radio DJs is not they not chasing artists that's one thing radio DJs is not doing they not chasing artists because there's no incentive for the radio DJ all right so let me show you this guy right here this guy is a real radio DJ real radio DJ he is on the radio right every single day in Jacksonville that's where I live at every day this guy right here played my song. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't meet him on Instagram. I met him at a show, a competition. I won the competition. They, they said they was going to play my song on the radio. End of story. But these guys, these guys are, these guys are super fucking scammers. Super scammers, man. Oh, let me tell y'all. So, uh... Y'all know who Big Bank, what his name, Big Bank, Bigger Ranking, Big Bank, what's his name, TDE? What's his name, Bigger Rankings? That's what his name is. So Bigger Rankings got a new marketing tool for independent artists in Atlanta. It's called Trapping from the Basement. And what he does is, he, um... Look at that. Oh, really good, though. You ought to keep up. Never give up soon with your talent. You're going to the top. Appreciate it. Maybe you're trying to read me. So, um, what I was saying was he created this platform right here for independent artists, right? I reached out to him. They charge him $500. Let me read it to y'all. Trapping from the basement is $500. We need a 50% deposit up front and the remaining balance must be paid the day of. We are located in Atlanta. They take cash at. That's always the that's always my red flag right there. Like if you are a legitimate business and you really like trying to do some things to help people and really trying to have other payment options other than cash app. Because what happens is when people pay you money on Cash App, they can scam you. Because Cash App is not giving you your money back. It's not giving you your money back. So, unless they can let me pay with PayPal, or they got a secure checkout website, or something like that, I ain't fucking with it. Because this is kind of on some, oh, you know me, I know you type shit. So, here's 500, let me wrap in the basement. But then what if, like, some random ass motherfucker from across the country put their $250 deposit down... And then next thing you know, they can't find these niggas. And you ain't going to be able to do shit. You're not going to be able to get your money back. Because it's Cash App. Stop paying people on Cash App. I don't even take Cash App from my plays. I pull up on a play, you got cash only. Cash only. That's all I want. Cash only. Cash only, man. But, um, yeah, it's, it's still a good opportunity, though. If you if you if you're one of those people who don't have a problem with using Cash App, then it's all good. You can use Cash App. But this is what you get. You get to perform your song. Uh they gonna service the single. What does that mean? That means that they're gonna record your song, service the single, put it out. Do an email blast to over three hundred DJ, DJs and post it on their main page. So the package is pretty much bullshit, to be honest with you. But you get the opportunity to rap in front of Bigger Rankings. If you know who Bigger Rankings is, if you grew up in the South, then you know who Bigger Rankings is. He's pretty, um, he's pretty influential in the South as far as just like helping get new artists up and running and stuff like that. But 
a lot of these guys that the lot are like I'm older, so I've seen a lot of these guys from like the time that they started doing this thing until the time that they that they you know till now and shit like that. And for me, I don't see a lot of progression in them. I just see a lot of lateral movement, lateral movement. And what I mean by lateral movement is like they're still doing the same thing because it's a money grab. It's all a money grab to them. So it's just like they just create another platform of the same thing. So it's just like okay, now we have this new thing where you can rap in our basement for five hundred dollars but then it was like pay us five hundred dollars to be on the mixtape uh pay us five hundred dollars to get your song on this fucking like it's just a bunch of things that that a lot of people doing to, as money grabs and you know what i'm saying like i don't i'm not i'm not necessarily like opposed to the money grab it's just kind of like i want to work with people that want to see me succeed so like if i come down to your show and I do an interview with you. What makes me feel good and appreciated is when motherfuckers actually go do some research about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, 2023. Hold on, I'm about to record this on my Instagram. So, 2023, this is what I need everybody to know. Um, if we doing interviews, if you booking me for interviews, if you reaching out to me for interviews, I would appreciate that, especially if you're charging me for the interview. If you're charging me for the interview... Then this is this is this is a must. But if you're not charging me, it's kind of like it just would be a nice thing. But if, if if I'm doing an interview with you, it would be so dope for you guys to like go and do some research about me. Go see what it is that I'm about. Go see what it is that I do and what I provide. Because if you guys really did that, I feel like you'll be able to ask me really good engaging questions that will allow the audience to really get to know who I am and it also makes for great content go listen to some of my songs ask me what songs I suggest you listen to because then I'll give you the songs that will give you the most content you know worthy questions so let's just move into 2022 being professional being ready for the moment when it is presented to us um so yeah that's it I just did that on my Instagram page, y'all live, y'all see me, but I'm about to wrap this shit up. I am at 57 minutes. We got three more minutes. We're going to do a whole hour today um, just because, uh, again, the reason why I'm doing these long, long streams is because I'm trying to get my watch hours up. So if you watch my video about YouTube content ID, I talk to you guys about watch hours, okay? These are watch hours. Let me show y'all. You see that? 4,000 watch hours needed needed to join. You see how many watch hours I have? I have 3,520 watch hours. That means I'm so close. So close. So these live streams help get me closer to my watch hours because the longer I go live, the more watch hours I have to contribute to my page. It doesn't even really matter if you guys watch it or not. It's just got to have the content. Got to have this shit out. So that's what the fuck I'm doing. That's why I'm going live. And then also, you know, just figuring out a dope-ass way to be able to share knowledge and information. My sound quality is definitely going to get better. I got my microphone over there. I'm going to hook everything up. It's just been kind of hectic because I've been in like a depressed episode for the last couple of days. But I'm slowly coming out of my depressed episode. So now it's like I can get back to doing the shit that I want to do. Um, but yeah, man. Oh, look, look, look. So here we go. Much love, fam. You ever got your music on the radio? Yes. My song... Look, he just, do you got your song on the radio? Now he gonna charge me $150 to play my song on the radio. Not interested. Whatever you selling, brother. I'm not interested at all. Ew, this bitch is ugly. Not interested at all. But, um, yeah, man. That's where I'm good. What? I'm broke as fuck. Look, I'm gonna say, on what? Question mark. I'm broke as fuck, so I can't. 
Look, 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 let's see. On what? Question mark. I said I'm broke as fuck, so I can't hire anybody. I'm actually a DJ at 106 The Beat. The B B T Vegas. So if you're interested in airplay and music promotion, I'm gonna listen to your favorite song and let you know the cost of airplay. I'm good. Thanks though. Nigga, no, I don't wanna fucking pay you for no goddamn airplay, you stupid fuck. The fuck? That's actually that's actually illegal. That's actually illegal. <laughs> out of here nigga look I said I said thanks I'm good though that's actually illegal payola laugh my ass off like fuck out of here nigga I'm not paying you to fucking get my song on the radio you fuck tart fuck is wrong with you nigga fuck is wrong with you so you can put my song in a mix show when I be looking stupid cause I ain't made no goddamn money on my shit nigga fuck out of here Hey, stop sending me y'all music too on Instagram. I'm tired of seeing that shit. I don't want to listen to y'all music. I don't give a fuck about your music. Let's keep it all the way behind. Especially when niggas don't even be tapped in. Tap in. Tap in. I'll listen to your shit. Tap in and I'll listen to your shit. But until then, keep that shit to yourself. All right, we are the hour right now. Shout out to everybody that watched. Shout out to all the people that jumped in, jumped out. Appreciate you. Uh, I, I think it said Desmond. <coughs> Appreciate you with the comments. <coughs> Come back to.